Hello everybody, I'm Philip Coates, the inventor of the Gentle Roll Machine. And I'm jo Joni Cornell, for whom the machine was invented. Now we mentioned in an earlier video that we were going to take on a carpet challenge video. And the reason for this being? We know that the Gentle Roll can handle fine felts such as these scarves. And can also do garments such as this woolen jumper here. But what we want to prove today is that the Gentle Roller can also handle much heavier thicker gauge material like a rug or a carpet runner. Now this is not intended as a tutorial so we won't be working step by step through the process. Um, we'll leave that for another time. Uh, but we will be sharing some milestones along the way and uh, the carpet itself will mostly be made out of heavy gauge 30 micron fibres like this here. Now this is merino. Um, the superfine that I usually work with is between 16 and 18.5 micron. This is um, over 30 micron, so it's, uh, it's coarser and much more prickly. And my motto has always been, why wear prickly against your skin when you can wear superfine? But uh, Joan has decided to start with her signature wetted sari silk, which is this, what we have prepared for you at the moment. And what is this in fact, Joan? It's um, one whole piece of silk zari on the bottom and I've laid several uh, layers of superfine merino on top and I'm going to pre-felt this as a pretty face for the carpet. So we can see Joan's finished the laying up of the superfine merino wool and the next steps are? Wetting it down and taking it up on the central roller of the gentle roller machine and putting it through its paces. So we'll see you soon. Hello everybody and welcome back to the carpet challenge video. Joan, where are we up to? We've got a really good quality pre-felt. The sari silks adhered really well to, to the super fine merino. Um, when I push against it, I won't see it on the video, but um, it moves as one, which is an indication that um, it's, it's there as pre-felt. All right, excellent. And the next step is we're going to be laying the carpet wool. The cloth wool. Um, I'm going to attempt to be really heavy handed with the laying, which will be um, a bit of, of a challenge for me because I'm so um, thin when it comes to laying usually. Um, I'm hoping it will only take around, a, around 12 layers or so. And I can see we've already started a little bit on the corner. Yeah, there. I've just given it a little bit of, um, of a go there on the corner there. All right, so we'll come back in a few seconds of camera time. And sure. An hour or so of real time after you've done the wool layup. Not a problem. Go for it. I certainly will. We'll be back in a few seconds when Joan has finished 12 layers. I'm still going, laying up layer number 10. Hello everybody, welcome back. Joan, I can see you've been busy. I have. I've got what have the, you been doing? I've got the 12 layers of fibre laid and I've got a pretty thick base. Yep, I can see it's a lot thicker than you normally work with. How thick do you think we're going to have this piece of material um, finished? I'm hoping for something as thick as this room of this little pot that I've got here. Alright, so that'll be a pretty uh, pretty heavy piece of carpet material mm -hmm. and uh, what do we do next? Well, it's ready to rock and roll. Alright, well let's put the top layer of plastic on. Yeah, we will. And uh, I'll get it on the roll. Super.
Welcome back everyone. We've got a piece of pre-felt um, here in front of me and since Philip was the one who did all the rolling I'll hand it over to him. He can describe to you what, what time the experience was, him, was like for him. <coughs> all right well the experience was a very wet one because a piece of uh, felt and wool this big carries an awful lot of water and when it was whipped down and put on the roll it would have weighed a good 10 kilos or 22 pound in the old money and um, I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you've got a wet studio floor where you can spill a lot of water because as you roll it up it goes everywhere. Uh, we didn't do a tutorial as Joan said at the beginning because we were learning along the way and I must admit we made a few mistakes fixed a few errors, learned a few tricks and invented a new product as a result of our experience making this particular rug but I think we got a fairly good finished product at the end of the day well it's not quite the finished yet not quite finished yet because there's another, another step to go but do you want to highlight a couple of the products, a couple of the areas? sure okay we've got some really good spots over here and here, a few loose spots here but um, they should come good um, in the fulling process so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, you can see the fibres have come through, uh, I've, I've got brown on, on, on the back and the, the brown has can really, you can see it coming through to the surface. Overall pretty happy with that. Yeah pretty happy with it. All right. So I'm going to take it away and full it for finish it in my um, rumbler machine as I've called it. The rumbler fits onto the gentle roller unit. Um, I can't show you it unfortunately because it's a prototype and I don't think it's quite camera ready but it, uh, it'll certainly be ready by the time we're up and running and uh, I'll have some pictures for you to look at shortly but um, not in a position to show it right now I'll take this away we'll do some rumbling we're going to try and shrink it about 30 percent and we'll be back to have another look um, a little bit later and when we come back we'll have it uh, finished and dry to show you finished and dry finished and dry right thanks Joan no problem Welcome back everyone. Um, the last time we caught up, Philip is about to put the pre-felt in his rumbler. How do we go, Philip? Well, I did just that and apologies for the tie-dye t-shirt. Joan said wear more colour, so I did. Um, put it in the rumbler. We've shrunk it about 30%. As you can see physically from the size on the, the video there, um, we put it on a door for those eagle-eyed people who did notice yes it was a door and it's physically shrunk noticeably uh, the silk on the top has roushed beautifully underneath it's roushed or rippled as well I think we've got a good finish, good yeah, carpet looks, runner looks great and my, my um, pretty face looks quite pretty It does look quite pretty, it just needs a little bit of defluffing in a few spots. Yeah, just time. a bit of polishing, finish yeah. it off. That's excellent. Now, <coughs> when we set ourselves the challenge of doing the cap challenge video, we wanted to show that the gentle roller could do the finest quality, really lightweight Nuno scarves through the gun material through to the heaviest duty um, carpet type material and I think we've succeeded with our, with our challenge in fact the density of this um, piece of material is almost twice as dense as commercial carpet so I think we've proven proof positive the gentle roller can manage anything that's thrown at it just uh, a word of advice Try, try this at home if you don't have a, a gentle roller machine. Um, 
as you probably see, uh, as you've seen, Philip was the one who took it up on the roller and actually put it onto the machine. It, it was just too, too darn heavy for me to manage. Yes, you wouldn't want to try and roll it manually. No. And don't try it at home unless you've got a wet work area because... It's and an assistant. <laughs> and an assistant, perhaps, <laughs> yes. It does generate an awful lot of water uh, spillage, which the general roller can cope with without any problems. So, there you are. Cup challenge done. Done. Tick a box. See you all on another video. Yeah. I almost had to say goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Joan. See ya. <laughs>